What's up guys, this is Tom at VSC and we got an awesome announcement for the GM Global B diesel customers. This is the first ECM that will be tunable for the GM Global B diesels. This is the E66. The E66 is found in the LM2 refresh trucks like I have on my right. That E66 has kept us from tuning these trucks for quite a little while. If you guys have been following us, you'll know we've done a ton of the LM2s. Previously, those LM2s that we've been tuning have an E46 controller in them. Uh, those LM2s did not have GM Global B. So what's applicable is the LM2 refresh trucks and all the SUVs minus the 2024 SUVs. So how does it differ from the previous LM2? What we found through testing and troubleshooting and diagnostic routines, we have found that the LM2 motor, this drivetrain powertrain is exactly the same as the previous LM2 that ran the E46 with two differences. This E66 computer is far advanced, allows us to do a lot more uh, with it. And the other benefit of the E66 is the flash times are much, much quicker, much more stable. It also runs a Global B TCM, which we'll get to here in a second. So what's required for tuning? So unfortunately, you have to send these ECMs in. It's not a big deal. All the LM2 guys previously have been sending them in. It's not a big deal. We've been doing them for a year. So you're going to send the ECM in and the TCM. The ECM and TCM are the ones that come from the truck. They have to be the ones that came from this truck. We can't use donor ECMs and all of that stuff. You'll have to have eight credits for the ECM and four credits for the TCM. You also have an unlock fee for the ECM and that's applicable from HP tuners. You're gonna have to have an MVPI three. You can't use an MVPI two plus or an MVPI two at all. It's gotta be an MVPI three. And also we cannot flash these through the TDN app for dealers and customers that are linked to us. We have to flash these with a laptop. Again, not a big deal. Most of you guys flash with a laptop anyways. And most importantly, during flashing, you have to be using the latest version of HP Tuner's beta software. And that can be downloaded right off the HP Tuner's website. Go to the beta software, download that only, and use that. And that's what you're gonna use for scanning also. So scan and tune with the beta software. TCM serial numbers. So this is gonna be slightly complicated. For the guys that have 2023 trucks, there is a service number on some of these TCMs and it's right here. This TCM serial number determines whether or not you can we can tune your TCM or not tune your TCM. Those ser service numbers you can only find by taking the TCM and pulling it out so you can take a look at it. Most trucks are not affected on our website and HP Tuner's website. You're going to see whether or not your service number is affected. So I'll show you where the ECM and TCM are located on these trucks. So what you'll do on your LM2, you'll pull the fender liner out and away, and your ECM and TCM are gonna be found right back here. And you just, if you pull the plastic flap away, you're gonna find the TCM, and you can look at the service number on that. If it's applicable, then pull your ECM and TCM and send them to us. Obviously, TCM tuning, uh, it's, an, it's an optional item anyways. It's not required, although there's a lot of benefits from tuning your TCM. How do you know whether or not your truck is actually an LM2 or an LZ0? Again, LZ0s are not applicable in this uh, update from us. So the easiest way to find that, there's probably some other ways, but the easiest way to find that is to come right over here and look straight down. And if it says LZ0, it is not applicable. It is not a tunable ECM yet. Again, it still runs the E66. I get it, the ECM is the same, but d don't send that ECM in to us. Don't send it to HP tuners. We can't tune those just yet. Benefits of tuning. So the guys that have been running the LM2 tunes from us, they know we offer 20, 30, and 50 horsepower calibrations. We push the envelope as much as we can. As long as guys are gonna use an SMB intake, we're gonna do a whole nother series on p the PPE, heat exchanger and intercooler, SMB intakes, and all those other items. Um, some of the things that we're gonna do inside the ECM right out of the gate, we're gonna kill the auto start stop. We're gonna remove the speed limiter if you guys want us to, or we'll lower it if you want us to, but we'll remove that out of the way for you. We use a smart mode restart, so if guys are in their tow haul mode and then they turn the truck off, it'll boot back up and in the, with the uh, tow haul mode on. We can change tire size and 
you know, there's a lot of requests for tire size changes, so we'll take care of all those for you. Uh, finally, will it work with our turbocharger? So the LZ0 turbocharger we found via manipulation and building turbochargers is different. But the LM2 turbocharger that is found on the refresh models and the Tahoes and Suburbans, it is the same turbocharger and we have built the world's first modified turbocharger. This is our stage two LM2 47 millimeter turbo right here. So again, we're bringing a lot of stuff home to you guys and it does work in conjunction, but just realize Global B is what makes that happen. And lastly, we're not doing pre-orders. So there's no pre-orders on tuning. We're not gonna issue a pre-order SKU. We just think that's nonsense. Once the calibration is ready to go, we push the SKU live and that means that we've tested troubleshot. We know how to handle these things. If you guys have any other more questions, you can hit us up at runvse.com. You can always call us. We have an awesome tech support line. If you have any other questions on the GM Global B specifically, we have an information form that you guys can hit, submit some information. We'll give you all the data that we can possibly give you. Uh, the most important thing that we want you to know is don't send us an ECM in unless it's tunable ECM, meaning it, does, it has Global B on it. That's all we got. Thanks.